Yo, this is how I put my muscle on, y'all. See, we got five eggs. We got a ton of bacon. And, and I'm about to prep the toast work, baby. Hey, it's, it's, it's very simple, man. Like a lot of people ask me, like, "Yo, T. Wall, man, what you eat? So, what supplements do you take?" It's not really all about the supplements. It's really mostly about the calories and your macronutrients you get in. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. I don't even count calories. I don't. I don't really have the time to count calories. To be honest with you, the portion size method. It's a good good indicator to let you know that you're getting the proper servings. You have to understand your campaign. My campaign is to keep muscle tissue. And in order for me to keep muscle tissue, I have to get my calories in. My calories have to come through um, protein sources. And eggs is a, is a great protein source because it has a lot of the BCAs, so the um, nine essential amino acids. If you're gonna go to the gym or if you're just gonna do some workouts or you're doing a lot of pull-ups, pull sit-ups, anything that's gonna be breaking the muscles down, to where they're gonna be sore. You have to make sure that you understand that those muscles need to be repaired and replaced with new muscle tissue. It's not just about strength, but if you're trying to get a little bit of size, or just grow your chest, your glutes, legs, arms, whatever, you have to eat. And that's what I'm doing right now because I burn a lot of calories. So if you're a person that's burning a lot of calories like me, man, I have a high output, man. I, I You know what? I like to use this example right here, man. Think of calories like money. You make a certain amount of money, you have a, you give yourself a certain allowance, right? You like those Air Yeezys, you like those Jordans, ladies, you like those Birkin bags, red bottoms, whatever, whatever's popular out there that, that takes your money, you like it. The more things that you like requires the more money you're gonna spend. The more money you're gonna spend, the more money you have to make. Well, simple as that, calories. Me being a high output, high output type of guy, if I'm burning 3,000 calories a day, but I want to put on size and I'm very active, then that mean I'm gonna have to at minimum be taking in like 4,000 calories a day just to break even. You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? It's, 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 it's calories in versus calories out, just like money in versus money out. And the reason why I like to use money as an example, because a lot of us can relate to that. Look at these gas prices. It's like either you stop going to places you go and just narrow it down to like your top three just to save gas because gas prices are too high, or you move the way you've been moving. Just know that you have to like invest into putting more gas into your car, which means it's gonna pay, it's gonna cost you. So fitness is the same thing, it's about rewards and losses. It's gonna cost you to put on size. All this stuff is connected. It costs more money in groceries if you're on a campaign to eat more. A lot of people be like, man, well, you gotta eat more. But well, now I gotta shop more. Really, that's what you're saying, I gotta shop more. I gotta find things to eat. And also I have to find the things of nutrition value to eat. I can't just be eating top ramen, microwave pizzas, and, and, and TV dinners all day. You know, those temporary fixes here and there when you're on the move, I get it. Can't be eating like vegan and plant-based stuff every day, I understand that you'll go broke unless you're rich. You know, but even then, the other big factor that comes into, into play is time. There's people who can't afford it. The reason why they can't afford it because they're working, so they don't have the time, so they have to pay somebody the meal prep. You see how this whole thing is circumerged? And those slices of time, like in the morning right now, before I get busy, I gotta eat. Because once I get busy, I'm not gonna eat until later on after my workout. And it's gonna be defeating the purpose. You know, so everybody protocol is different. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be the biggest guy in the room. I'm just trying to maintain muscle density. And all I'm doing is just eating the required calories based upon my level of activity because I'm an active guy. Everybody who's working from home, 
you're not putting out as much calories then the protocol for you would be a little different man but even then while you're at home you got the time you got the space you got the heart you got the energy go ahead and get some of this gladiator school home body workouts man you know anybody can do a 10 15 25 minute home boot camp you know for 30 days straight if you work at home for 30 days straight for 30 consecutive days i promise you if you do enough kettlebell swings push-ups Tuck your toes under the couch, do them sit-ups, crunches, planks out here, wall sits, jump squats, lunges, you name it. If you do enough of that in a month's time, man, you yourself will start to see the difference, man. And all you be saying is like, man, T-Walt has told me to just cook eggs, bacon, and a little bit of toast to get that carb in there. Now, you don't have to eat exactly what I eat. It just is my preference. You know, you can do turkey bacon, you can do egg whites. Everybody is different, man. The bottom line is like, figure out your body type, figure out your, your campaign, whether you're trying to gain muscle or if you're trying to cut fat. And then just go from there. The bottom line is, is enjoy the process, trust the process, have fun. It's your man T. Walt, AKA the Improvement Coach. And hey, if you guys found value in this video, please smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. We're trying to grow the channel. We're trying to get the information out there. And we're just trying to just blog it out, man. Sometimes you want to just live life, man. And I may not know everything. In fact, a lot of the things that I would tell you guys is going to come from me. It's going to come from my failures. And I'm much rather to provide you the opportunity to save that time to going down the wrong paths that I did, the wrong decisions, the wrong choices that I did to cut down on the mistakes for you. All right, so hey, each one teach one, man. So with that, until next time, you guys stay focused, stay disciplined, get those macronutrients, eat clean, be great, be fearless, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Peace.